Well, let's get started. We were prepared for everything. So we got oxtail tacos, but we also got some jackfruit just in case you you want to go back to being vegetarian one day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you how to make it just in case. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. We got a little bit of jackfruit, so I'll put this here. Yeah. And all I'm going to have you do is saute of a little jackfruit. Are you familiar with jackfruit? I'm not, but it looks like meat. Smell that. Jackfruit is one of those things where it kind of gives you that texture of meat, but it's a fruit. But it's like, a lot of people will use it as a substitute it's for- It's like pulled pork. It does look like pulled pork. That's yeah. what I was about to say. Yeah. They use it as a substitute for pulled pork. Yeah. And it's beautiful because you can kind of flavor it the way you want it to be flavored. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did here. We marinated in a little bit of sauce. We're just gonna take some of that and put it right into this pan. How we much? A little bit of oil. How much you want? I would say enough for like two tacos. Two tacos? Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna grab this from this side. And show you this. Look how bubbly it is. What is that? That's oxtail. It seems like you're a little more interested in this than that. <laughs> and that's just in, in water or what else? What else? No, so that? um consomme. You know consomme? What is that? Consomme, you ever had a bed of your tacos where you dip yeah. it into yeah. So consomme is the thing that you dip it into. Okay. But the way that you make the actual taco is that you submerge it into that meat so it flavors it. Mm -hmm. And then once you extract all of the meat out of it, now you got the consomme, which is the sauce that you get to dip it into. Okay. And the meat, when you pull out of there, it'll be similar to this texture. Nice and creamy. Yeah, absolutely. Got it. Yeah. That's why I wanted to use something like jackfruit, just because it has similar texture that it had. Yeah. Let's put this into a bowl. Now talk me through it. Your recruitment process. So you grow up in San Diego. Mm -hmm. You are recruited by every place in America, I'm assuming. Yeah. And you choose Texas. Why? So I had a checklist. Okay. No things that I wanted to get out of my experience. Okay. One, I wanted to go to a big, a big university. I wanted to start as a freshman. Yeah. And the main thing is I wanted to go somewhere where big university and they were like, they'd been down a little bit and they were right on the cusp of getting back, getting back on. And I, Why am I about that? Because I got the idea of wanting to contribute. No, I feel that. Uh -huh. And what was the feeling that you got when you went to your recruit? It was family. It was a feeling of family. So I, I was, I remember distinctly, I was in, um, I was in the, the dorms with the, the guys that we were going out. We went out that night and two of the, one of the receivers and the running back got into a fight. Oh, wow. Like they were throwing hands. Well. Wow. And what struck me was within a half an hour, we were all back in the room and everybody was friends again. Yeah. No, for me, that, that was that feeling of family. Another thing I noticed, one of the guys wanted, uh, needed to borrow a car, and four guys threw him his king. Oh. So it was just that, that feeling of this is, a, this is a clan. Did you grow up cooking? I did. What was your dish? Tacos. Really? Mm hmm Was, um, did you have somebody in your family that cooked? Was it your mom, grandma, or? My mom, my, yeah. gra my grandma. Man, she that's cool. That. Same same story to me. I, um, growing up, my, my grandma, my mom, they would cook and I was the guy who like licked the cake bowl. Yeah. So I was the yeah. man who come in and yeah. was like, all right, real here, we can lick the cake bowl over there after you got the dishes. Yeah. And so that's how I grew up and I just, I loved it, man. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of Oaxaca cheese to my pan. Get this melted on the bottom. We, we fry the cheese onto it and then we fry it again. So we're gonna pour a little bit of consomme yeah. and then we fry it shut and it's gonna yeah. be nice and crispy. Okay, outside. perfect, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. We just wanna put some of that Oxtail right on top of that cheese. Look how juicy that is. Now we take our tortilla. I like to burn that cheese just so it gives it a little bit of texture, right? Okay. And flip it right over. And now once we do that, we just flip to this one side. Let's get the rest of that meat. Where are you thinking going? So Heisman, man, like that's that's big. Like to be able to go to a school and win the Heisman, two things. Once you started to change your diet, do you think that that helped you become a better runner and a better player, um, both physically and mentally? And then two, on the route to the Heisman, what do you think was the thing that separated you? Was it the food? Was it the mentality? Was it the training? Like, it was, what was different? It was confidence. It was confidence. And yeah. what, you know, I, I won the, the Heisman as a senior, and a lot of, you know, these days. When I got to my senior year, I realized I'd been starting since a freshman, and no one 
in college football, I had more reps than I. I'm like one of my coach. I mean, I love my college coach, John Makovic. Yeah. He, he he prepared us for life. Yeah. I mean, he gave us the, our itineraries each week, and he would put quotes. Yeah. And so I still have some quotes in my mind. And one of them was, he said, "You're you're either green and growing, or you're ripe and rotting. You never stay the same." Yeah. And so I always think about, oh. am, which one am I? Am I getting better, or am I go, going the other way? And that that kept me motivated. The other thing he would say is, "Practice makes." And then we'd all say, "Perfect." And he'd say, "No." He said, "Practice makes permanent." Perfect practice makes perfect. So, <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna take a little bite. Perfect. Got it. Can't tell it's not meat. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. That's the beautiful thing about jackfruit, just because you can flavor it however you want, and the texture of it is like, you're surprised, you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Try that piece. Yeah. Yeah, that's oxtail. Mm. <laughs> Which one you like better? Yeah, the oxtail. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You got the taste. <laughs> it's savory, right? Yeah. Like jackfruit, savory, but it's not. It's not deep, mm -hmm. deeply savory. It ain't you know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah.